everyone, it's Danielle from Rosetta Vera. This is a book outlet haul. Um, I had placed another order in January because they were having a couple of sales back to back. So I picked up primarily, I think I've just picked up coloring books um, and maybe one book about doodling. Um, but I will put that book outlet referral code in the description box. Again, if anybody's interested in getting like a discount for using my referral code, they can do so. But other than that, let's get into the books that I picked up. So the first thing I picked up is Calming Coloring Patterns. Patterns, look at me. Patterns. Patterns, That that's what it is. Um, and these are just different kind of patterns to color in. Um, the book is a little dingy, but Book Outlet, they do um, what they call closeout books and clearance books. So some of the books may have a little bit of beat up to them. Um, this is just a book of different patterns to draw. Um, these are kind of like mindless pan patterns, I would call them, where there's like, you, you don't have to think too hard to just kind of get relax and draw what you're seeing. Um, I know when I looked at this yesterday, because the box came yesterday, I wasn't sure about some of the patterns. So as I'm flipping through now, I do see some things that I like. So I think I need to take the time to actually walk through these to see what I like and what I don't like in these books. Um, I may photocopy the pages that I'm interested in and then pass these on if I find that I don't like a lot of the pages. So that is the first one. I think I have three books like this that are calming coloring patterns. So the next one is called Calming Coloring Flower Patterns. And again, these are by Graham Leslie McCallum. Um, so again, these are just um, different patterns for you to color. This is more uh, floral themed there's some paisley there um so um i may do a flip through of these books i'm still trying to make time to do a flip through of my books from my last book outlet haul so i may try to do those and maybe i'll post those in a couple of weeks after i finish some of the other videos i'm doing so those are all floral patterns and there's 80 patterns in the book I'll say offhand, one of the things I don't like about these books is the spine um, because it's not a spine that lays down flat, which means like you kind of have to crack the the um, spine in order to get into some of those nooks and crannies there. Um, and that's kind of annoying, um, but yeah, that, that would probably be the thing. That's my first criticism of the book. Um, but that is Calming Coloring Flower Patterns. Then we have Calming Coloring Animal Patterns. Let's see, a quick flip through here. I see some butterflies and fish. Um, more fish. What is up with fish and coloring books? I don't, I don't understand the fascination with fish. I, I didn't know fish were that interesting. You see some birds here. Um, these would be good for pencils. Um, probably some types of markers that have like fine tips because some of this is very detailed so you could get into those nooks and crannies. I like that butterfly pattern. Uh, more fish. Um, but, and then you have some beetles here. So there's some interesting things. I won't say I like everything I'm seeing, but I see some interesting things in there. Okay. Then we have these um, a million um, coloring books from Lulu Mayo. Um, this is a million cute animals. And this is cute, adorable animals to color. Um, and again, like I said, these are book out from book outlet so you may see little marks but other than that the books are new this is really cute um 
So unlike the other books, these aren't patterns. You'll actually see pictures to, to color in. Um, it has the same problem with the spine where the spines don't lay flat. So that can be a little bit of a pain. And again, I have to think about if I have time to do flip throughs of these books. So that's a million cute animals. Then we have a million mermaids and that's magical creatures to color. And I'll put the price I paid for the books um, somewhere in the video so you know how much. Again. A different mermaid pictures to draw. I know I complain about the fish pictures and then I buy a mermaid coloring book like isn't isn't that like a fish but don't judge me don't judge me um, so then you have some full page coloring things to do so there you go for cute mermaids a million mermaids then we have a million cats, fabulous felines to color. And again, these all by Lulu Mayo. So we have cats laying in the tree. I really like the illustration style in these. Um, I like how it's kind of loose and graphic. So those umbrellas I like those I could play with my paper mate flares on those flower details there and there are other books in this series the million one I think there was like a million slobs I'm not into slobs so I didn't buy that um, and a couple of other ones um, um, but I, I picked up the ones that were interesting to me so those books I just showed you were adult coloring books. Before I get into this one, I'll show you the last adult coloring book. So this is Wonders of Creation. Um, so I'm not sure who this is by. I don't see a name, um, but fish. Okay. I picked this up because I kind of did a preview and I liked some of the detail in the pictures. Um, it's some kind of mandala style here too. I'm not really into that, but the pictures that um, don't have the mandala styling, I do like. But if you're into mandalas and like a lot of pattern play, you might like these. And here we go with fish again. I have nothing against fish. I really don't. It just seems like there's a lot of fish in these books. Um, so these have a lot of pattern to them. Um, but I like the nature um, drawing. Actually, I'm not into mandalas, but I kind of like this one with the tree branches. That's very nice. So that is, I think, Wonders of Creation. And that's an adult coloring book. And then I have this kid's coloring book called Fairies to Color. And this comes with stickers. I hope the stickers are in here. Um, and... These are by Eugenie Varone. So they're telling you you can use the stickers to decorate the page. I'm not going to do that. I'm going to use the stickers for another project because that's who I am. But um, I had did a preview of this book too. I think I looked on Amazon to kind of get an idea what the pictures would be like. Um, and it appealed to me. So... I like the girl's faces, um, so that's why I picked this up. I like the magic wands there. And again, all of these seem to have spines that you have to kind of crack down. Um, these are stickers here that you can color. Um, and it looks like all the stickers are ones that you color. Um, so I have to think about how I'm gonna use those since I can color them in. So that is everything for fairies to color. And then finally, the last book I picked up was Creative Doodling and Beyond. 
um, and this is by Stephanie Corfi. There is a second book to this series um, that I keep forgetting to order from Amazon that is marked really, 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 really well. Um, so I need to order it. I wanted to order the first one first to make sure I liked it. And this is just different exercises and prompts um, for kind of playing with your doodling. Since I said I wanted to kind of work on my doodles this year. So um, they kind of start with some ideas and then give you a page to practice. Um, I the, My only criticism of books like this is... I don't want to write in my books. Um, I like to keep my books pretty clean. So I, I would like more examples and less workspace, but that's me. Someone else may really, really like the fact that there's practice pages in here, but that's not really my thing. Um, I'm not sure how I'm feeling about what I'm seeing here. Um, maybe I just need to take a little more time with it. I'm just kind of flipping through. Um, yeah, at first glance, I'm kind of underwhelmed. Um, not, I think because it is more of a exercise book versus technique book. It's kind of saying like, here, I'm going to give you an idea for you to practice versus like here, here's how you can improve your technique of doing leaves or like here's different ways to do leaves. Um, so I'm not sure. You know, it's talking about blind doodling, animated doodling. Um, it's talking about things you can do to like your clothing. Um, so yeah, I'm not sure. I'm leaning towards maybe I won't buy that second book because I'm not feeling too enthused about this one. Um, but anyway, that is Creative Doodling and Beyond. Um, those are the books I picked up this past month from Book Outlet. Um, as you know, you Book Outlet sells clearance and closeout books. Um, so you can get some books you're looking for at a cheaper price. Um, there may be some little, you know, dips and dabsy, a little, little dingy cover or something like that. But for the most part, the books are, you know, the books are brand new. They just may have come from a closeout or clearance. Um. The other times I've ordered from Book Outlet, my books have looked crisp and pristine. This is the first time where I can tell like they're kind of like closeout books. Um, if you're looking for ways to save money on books, book, book Outlet is one way. Another way is when you're shopping Amazon to look at other prices. Like they'll say, like see other prices for this book and you'll see where there's used or there, you'll see used books. and they have grades. They'll have some that are like brand new, but close out. It might be barely used. So that's another way to find some books marked down um, cheaper. I do that too. So that's it. I'm, I'm rambling. So I guess that means it's time to wrap up this video. Um, that's it for my January haul from Book Outlet. Um, as always, thank you for stopping by and spending time with me. Please like, comment, and subscribe. And I will see you in the next video. Thank mm -hmm. you.